candy, the largest food industry in the United States, comprising of more than 70,000 jobs and more than 1,000 facilities across the nation, millions of tons and billions of dollars are exported to countries across the globe. For the employees of Community Support Services, the candy trail starts here. Their job is to cleanly dispense one cup of M&Ms into a Ziploc bag. Currently, the employees use a one cup scoop to move M&Ms from a large stock into individual bags. Candy packaging is one of the jobs Don and Casey want to do at CSS, but Don is visually impaired and Casey has a severe case of autism. These disabilities prevent them from performing the task. Both need significant assistance to do the job. Don's hands tremble when attempting to use the scoop and he cannot tell how many M&Ms he has in the cup. Casey's autism limits her motor skills and her ability to perform the task repeatedly. When we first saw the employees at CSS doing this job, we immediately knew that this problem could be fixed. All the problems that they were having were because of the way they were transferring the M&Ms. A scoop requires dexterity and the ability to count how many M&Ms are being transferred. Any device that we will create in the future would have to address these problems head on. And so we created the DT Dispenser, a product unlike any other in the marketplace. With one crank, anyone can move M&Ms from a tank to the side of our device and into a Ziploc bag. Traditional devices on the marketplace are vastly different from the one that we have here. Most designs control candy based on how much time a door has been opened. Others control candy proportional to how much time a crank has been turned. But neither design innately controls how much candy falls through. But our device does. At its heart, the principle behind the DT dispenser is very simple. When the crank is in its upright position, a notch is facing upward, allowing candy to fall in. Then, when we turn the crank, the notch is facing downward, and candy will fall out and into a rim that pushes the candy out the side of the device. An important part of our project was evaluating the device that we created. We measured our device on two important metrics, efficiency and independence. We asked Don, Casey, and Joe to use our device to test its features. Joe is also another employee at CSS with a milder case of autism. To measure efficiency, we measured how long it took Don, Casey, and Joe to package one bag of M&Ms with and without our device. To measure independence, we asked our coordinators to rate their independence on a scale of 1 to 5, with a 1 requiring hand-over-hand -hand assistance and a 5 being totally independent. The results were amazing. Here we have Don using our device to package M&Ms. He saw almost a tenfold increase in productivity. A job that once took him minutes of handholding now only takes him seconds with minimal intervention. Casey and Joe experienced a two to three fold increase in productivity with a considerable increase in their independence. With our device, they now have the capability of becoming fully functioning members of the CSS workplace. We asked Donald about how he felt about our device. So it was easy for you to turn? How do you like turning on? What do you think about the idea? Instead of scooping and putting it in, you can just turn it off. All right. That sounds like a great job? Yes, it We asked Joe about how he felt using the device. What do you think about this machine? Did it, was it a good machine? Yeah. Do you think it was helpful? Yes. Yeah. We also asked Miss Cindy, our mentor, to speak about our product. So, Miss Cindy, what do you think of our device? Well, um, I think it's um, it's really something that um, that meets a need for many of our individuals. Um, and um, because the whole concept of, of quantity is very difficult for several folks. So this, this your, your device definitely uh, addresses a need that we've had. And I think it's great the way you incorporated um, the different aspects of the task and, and make it um, a 
device that's really usable for iPhones. How do you think it'll uh, impact um, the, uh, the folks who will be using it? Well, I think any time you develop um, an adaptive device, it helps people feel more confident and independent. If they can work more independently on a task, that affects um, their self-esteem and their rate of productivity.